what is going on today guys we are back for another episode of fear the night now we're going to start out today by making those benches that i keep talking about and we're going to get them placed down in here so i can show you what what exactly is on them and then we're going to head up to area six and seven to do our looting so to start out with i'm going to come in here we're going to be making a medicine bench today that's the first one we're also going to make the fridge, the distillery, and last but not least, the oven. Now, like I mentioned, we're going to skip the stove because everything we can make on the stove, we can make in the oven. So, I don't see a point in having it. Now, it might be a little bit different if, say, we could start the crafting on a bench and not have to stay there maybe we use both to do volume at once maybe I guess but I don't know I don't think there's a need for it to be honest so yeah we're just gonna get we're just gonna skip right on past it and and yeah so we got the medicine bench got the refrigerator the distillery and the oven now we're, we're going to get rid of these now. So you come in here, you hold F, and you hold your mouse over destroy, and click it. And then you get some of the resources back from making it, which, to be honest, doesn't really make much of a difference to me. But now we're going to place down the distillery here, and make sure when you're placing into a small slot that it's not highlighted over there, for instance, before you place it. So, medicine bench, and the oven. So, this is kind of going to be our setup for in here. Uh, eventually, obviously, as you know, we'll swap that for a safe, and we might put a big storage thing in here. Or actually, well, yeah, that'll work. So, anyway, this has to be powered for it to work, of course, as well as the distillery, but open it up here you get 26 slots and a 2,000 pound capacity for it now will we need 2,000 pounds no no not really so but will we fill it up we probably will fill it up eventually I'm pretty sure about that especially once we get the like well actually we probably won't fill this one up but anyway let's just keep going here now the med bench, as you can see, you get a healing potion, which 50 health for it requires eight antibiotics. I don't feel that's worth it. Small antibiotic potion, six antibiotics, and 10 echinacea. Is that worth it? Yeah, that could be all right, you know. But we can get better. Adrenaline is just for stamina. You now three antibiotics, one zombie tissue, one empty bottle. Not bad. But, it is only stamina. Now, greater healing potion, 12 antibiotics, 1 zombie venom, 1 empty bottom, bottle. It's 100 health immediately. That isn't too bad. Greater antibiotic potion, 150 infection for 20 antibiotics, 20 echinacea, 1 bottle, 1 zombie plasma. 150 infection, that's a lot of infection. That is for sure. Super Healing Potion, 200 health for 25 antibiotics, 5 echinacea, 1 empty bottle, and 2 zombie venom. That's a whole lot of health, and that's a whole lot of antibiotics. Antibiotics, as you know, you got to farm from the infected. So, Resetting Potion here, resets all your attributes and stats so you can redistribute them. 100 echinacea, 1, one empty bottle. 30 zombie plasma and 30 zombie tissue. Very expensive, but if you want to reset, it's worth the cost. Now, here's what I was talking about with the food stuff. The flavored fruit tea, we will be making absolute tons of this. And it gives 50 water and 60 infection. So we're going to skip any and all infection meds for sure for this. 
and you know this gives 200 health and 80 food so we'll probably be skipping all the meds in general just to make food because well it's really not that bad to get this food and crafting this it's multi-purpose veggie soup it will eventually replace our flavored fruit tea at 80 water and 180 infection so big stuff there hearty stew 100 food 300 health that's big time healing there for sure and veggie stewed chops 150 food and 120 stamina back so again it's another big time item right now these three will suffice and then as we go these three will take over so yeah we'll definitely be looking into getting these going here rather soon but since it's night i am going to pause the video and then i will skip ahead and meet you guys up in area seven and area six all right guys so we're almost there now we're just up on in area six now on the main road now off over there is another poi that is the police station and as you can see there is an enforcer moving around right there so again the higher the higher the area you get into the higher the level the enforcer now we could still take them out if we wanted to but you know as far as farming goes if you're just trying to kill them off it's probably best to stick around the lumber yard or not the lumber yard, the junkyard for that and the reason for that is the lower the level the better the chance you stand at surviving a shot from them and also the easier they're gonna be for you to kill now as far as hacking enforcers go if you can hack an enforcer in a higher level area you're gonna see some serious serious increase in stats on them now eventually later when we do start our enforcer hacking I'll show you what I mean because we'll eventually hack one in a higher level area but for now I'll just say that their stats are supremely better but anyway as you can see there is new trees up here this is the lumber yard in area six where you harvest resin now there's a couple spots you can get the resin one is these trees which we will use and two is inside the lumber yard there is actually like a shipping crate kind of kind of deal i'll call it and you can also get it out of there all right had to kill them off quick. Ooh, grab all that goodies. All the goodies. So, come up here and it's really easy to get the materials from these. All you do is hit them with an axe like you would any other normal tree and that is how you harvest it. So, drop my skulls right there and I'll show you guys the enforced. Ooh, did you hear that? When a zombie gets close to an enforcer, they will shoot it. So, you tend to hear a bit of shooting up here. Now, where exactly are they? Well, they're a little ways up in here, but I'll go up in here just a little, little ways. I don't want to get too close because if we do accidentally aggro one, it's not as fun. <laughs> Now, I do have the SM11 equipped just in case we accidentally aggro one. I should be able to rake him down with with the firepower from that. So, just in case. Now, normally I wouldn't bother coming up in here like this, but... Well, at least not until we're ready to take over the point of interest. But I figure, you know, why not? If we die, we die. It's not the end of the world. So. See him shooting right there?
this is the lumber yard. So anyway, let's get back over here and we will chop down a whole bunch of trees, get us some lovely resin, and get the heck up out of here to go to the Area 7 layer for aluminum. So, just going to run all the way back over here by my scouts and start harvesting. Now, again, just an axe. That's all you need. Walk up to a tree, pop. Down goes the tree, wood and resin, just like that. So as you can see, resin stacks to 100 and a 50 pound, 50 pound chunks. So you can pick up quite a bit of it. And it's, like I said, it stacks really nicely. So. All right, let's dump all this on in here. Drop that, and let's go for some more. Now, we will be making more than one trip up here. Um, not today, but we will go through quite a bit of the PCABS once we start making it. So, actually upgrade him. The more we can fit, the better it's going to be. So, again, just... Give him a little smacky smack and tons of resin. Don't care about the wood. All we want is the good stuff. Uh, I probably shouldn't have filled it into him. I probably should have just kept stacking it in the one, but eh, whatever, right? Come over to me. I'm too heavy to walk to you. And you m might be wondering why I'm taking so much. Well, we will use it all. And it does go fairly quick. So I'm making sure I get, get quite a bit of it. That should be good enough for now. Like I said, I'll be making runs up here to get more of it. Um, one other thing we can also do is we can test out this pinion mace now. I'll show you guys that thing. Oh, let me get a little bit of drink action going on here. And that, all right. So, the pinion mace is very powerful. It's the only thing that's, that's as good as it is the claymore. But as you can see, it's got a mean sling to it. Now, whoops, too far. So for those of you who are wondering how we got up here, here is our main shelter. All I did was I walked up around here, cut across onto the main road, and this is the area six here. There's three points of interest in here and one layer. Now, it's gonna be a long time before we really get to them. So yeah, I won't I won't go into depth on the points of interest and stuff too much on them, only to say they're gonna be interesting. Now this is area seven. Area seven has the two points of interest. The one is the police station, second is the hardware store, and this is the layer, and which is where we are heading. Now again, it's gonna be a long time before we take over them points of interest, but they have some really nice stuff in them. Pretty much every point of interest you take over will have a lot of good stuff in it. Um, and depending on when you're able to take them over, as in like how early, the stuff will come in more handy if you take it over earlier. So, again, it's... Might sound a little cryptic, but I don't want to spoil the surprise too much. Oh yeah, this thing has some mean big swings to it. I absolutely love it. Um, storage 2 here, we're going to drop off all our non-essential crap. Store our extra water. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm... 
why I still have that yet, to be honest. But I did bring plenty of ammo with. Um, yeah, that should be good for now. So, we're going to drop them all right here. Grab our mining helmet. Um, I probably should take a little bit of this. And we probably should find a battery real quick. So we can repair our helmet. I'd hate for it to go dark on us down in there. Now, we're not going to have the same issue we did last time. In the last playthrough here, I am... Whoops. I have plenty... Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. But that work. Hit the wrong button trying to transfer the stuff over. So, do that. And our durability is still pretty decent yet, so I'm going to hold off on repairing it. But I'm bringing that with just in case. Mm -hmm. So, um, where you at here? I want my grenades. And actually, we're not even going to need that axe either, so... Just one less thing for us to carry. Because aluminum is heavy. Now, again, with the layers, it is hard to see. The lighting that the helmet gives off kind of sucks. So just bear with me on that. I'll do what I can. And that guy's going to split. There we go. And we'll take that water. And we won't take that. Now we're going to level up to get that the hell out of our way. And we're going to take some more ranged. Now, if you're wondering why I wanted grenades, let me show you. Right around the corner here is a horde down in the water. Now, I don't know how well you guys can see this. But, it's time to say hello. Boom. 54,000 XP. Holy crap. And here comes our first look at Stalkers. These guys are a pain in the royal ass. Now, we could grenade them. But, we don't, we don't want them to get too close to us for sure. Because whatever weapon you're holding, if they swat you, they can steal it and throw it on the ground. So, keep that in mind when you're fighting them. Shit. Thing's got a little bit of recoil to it. Yeah, as you can see, they do absorb a few hits. So do these guys now. Especially body shots. But as you can see, they have shotgun ammo, broken shotguns, gears, and zombie tissue. I'm not going to take the gears or the shotguns right now. Because we have plenty of shotgun parts and plenty of gears. So, now another thing to note. Once you kill one, you can get hung up on them because they, it's, they're they weird like that. Another thing I want to point out is you'll notice you hear some zombies. This is kind of a little bit of a bug in here. If you walk through and swing, sometimes you can hit them. There are actually dead bodies that are still technically alive, I guess. But they're, they're actually dead, so I don't know. It, like I said, it's a weird little bug. But anyway, here is the aluminum. And you'll see the base resource is aluminum. The secondary is metal. Now, yes. We are super, super heavy from that. So we're actually just going to drop that whole stack of metal like that. And as you can see, again, aluminum is one pound per unit. 100 unit stacks. So... 315 aluminum right there. Let's take it up to the surface.
reload this on the way up and this and yes I know some of you guys might criticize in the comments down below my shooting needs work oh yes there is no argument about that I definitely need to work on how crappy of a shot I am I know it but anyway we're going to be taking out a ton of aluminum from here I mean a ton of it aluminum is gonna go super quick now we also need a lot of metal as well so I know you saw me drop that hundred stack of metal we do have a little bit of metal at home metal is pretty easy to get so I'm not as concerned about it but yes we do need a lot of it so we're gonna come out here and we're gonna start dumping into these guys here upgrade him again so he's at the best possible capacity we can get him um, we're actually gonna drop much other crap off as we can just like that and now actually to make myself even lighter I'm gonna remove the bow and I'll put my shotgun on and we're gonna drop all this in there like such so that'll give us a little more room to carry stuff out now this cave is set up to go two directions that way goes to a whole bunch more zombies this way is just your quick way I'll call it to get aluminum you don't have to go through too many to get to it and there's a decent I say a decent amount of aluminum down here I mean it's not a ton but it's still a decent amount now again very heavy Wow that was holy shit <laughs> all right well we're gonna end up having to drop some aluminum unfortunately it's just how it is but well actually you know let's repair oh shit I dropped that other stuff off oh all right let's drop a little bit of aluminum it's not the end of the world but I'll pause and I'll come back to you guys when I'm done harvesting all right guys so we're good to go on aluminum I just brought up the last load of it there so we're gonna go down in here and we're gonna have just a little bit of fun there's plenty more XP to have down here. Let's go get us some. Now, the reason for all this XP is, as you can see, 296,000 XP to level up to level 30. And it only gets, only gets to be worse from there. So, that being said, it's going to take a lot to level up now. So all the XP we can get is going to be just fine by me. So let's plug this guy, see what we can trigger from around the corner down there. Should be a whole bunch of them down there. Be just around past here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's say hello in style, shall we? Ooh, yeah. 32,800 XP. Anybody gonna come running? Oh, yes, they are. And that is why we have the SMG. Now again, I'm only gonna gonna be taking the ammo and their one consumable item, just because we don't really need the craftable stuff at the moment. Now I'm being a bit cautious because I know there's more stalkers. I think this is actually a dead stalker. Yep. Uh, 
All right, so again, being a bit careful. There's a lot more up here. Oh, you see them? You guys see them things? Those are the brutes. Now, they're pretty much deaf, so. Okay. Oh, getting the rock. There we go. Now these brutes, you can pretty much get right up next to them. They're deaf as, deaf as shit. But you can see they are heavily armored, nasty looking buggers. I'm gonna pull this zombie back here first. Then we'll take a little bit better look at them. Oh shit, he heard me. That's how close you can get to them before they'll actually hear you. Now, it's easy to get away from them. Again, they can't get past here. He's not going to come all this way. But, I kind of want a little better look at you so I could explain. His front is plated with metal plates, which it's hard to see in the dark. But, if you shoot him in the head enough, or if you can hit him in the back, they don't go down too bad. I will say this before I start shooting them. They create quite a bit of lag when you're shooting them. So be fair warned. And they're an absolute bullet sponge in the front there, as you can see. Now, it's a different story with the shotgun. The shotgun seems to do a whole hell of a lot better on them. Why? I'm not exactly sure why. But as you can see, they give you rifle rounds and zombie plasma. They also have broken shotguns and springs. So it's up to you guys if you want that kind of stuff from them or not. Um, say a little bit of hello here. Run the hell out of there. And it didn't kill them. Before you guys think that actually killed him. That did not. Oh shit, see that bad bounce? That's what you gotta be careful of with these grenades. They make some weird freaking hops. Oh, it wasn't far enough around to get a hold of them. Oh shit. Goddamn stalker zombie. I hate them. Those are the worst ones, in my opinion. Okay, I think that got the stalker, at least. And yes, I am being extra cautious with these, these zombies right now. I've learned a little bit. Pretty sure we got the stalker. But these guys just go back in the hole? Yeah, they did. Alright, so you can see their back is really fleshy. That's their weak spot. Now, we're gonna give them a farewell present. That didn't even kill them. They are all still alive, ladies and gentlemen. That is how strong these guys are, just so you guys are aware. We're going to aggro one at a time around the corner to play with them. Or try to. What the hell are they doing? You do not know how to path around a corner. Whoops. Helps if you hit them, by the way. Yes. Got to be very cautious with these guys. They don't deal 
too tremendous of amount of damage, but they are absolute tanks. Whoops. Go with the shotgun again here. And fleshy spot. Versus the front. See the difference in the XP? And always move back when you reload like that. It's just... Gives you a little bit of separation from them. But as you guys saw... Those grenades didn't kill them. And as you guys can see here, the humanoids don't die to a headshot from the rifle anymore. There is another stupid stalker zombie. Those are the ones that I hate the most. Back up a little bit. Let her blow. That sucker's still alive. Now I figure we we go through the rest of this cave or most of it so you guys can see just exactly what's hiding in here. Another area with Zeds in it. See what else is hiding in here. Crack off a shot. See what comes out. Other than a lot of humanoid zombies, it doesn't look like there's any stalkers or... Okay, that looked like I was shooting right through that. Boom. Oh, man. Oh, shit. And that is what we do not like to see. Oh, and he took my gun. Give me that back. That's what I mean by they steal your gun. Boom. Dirty little buggers. I hate them. That is exactly why I hate them. And. I don't know. The gun sight seems off to me when you get too close. Alright. What else is in here? Reload this on up. Oh, there's nothing back here, really? Not even any loot. That's disappointing. Oh, freaking stupid stalkers. Get out of my cave. No, no, no. Oh, shit. He's running for my ass. Give me my shotgun. Okay. Just steal it. Dirty bugger. Give me that. Sayonara. Boom. Okay, that was... By far the most interesting split from a zombie I've ever seen. That was funny. And there's a brute. Let's actually level up quick while we're standing here. Do that and let's get us some more ranged for our, for all our lovely weapons. Take us a few of these. Alright. 
Let's go shotgun the brute, shall we? And as you can see by the XP, his armor plating nullifies most of the damage. So, again, up close and personal. To the front, not a good tactic. If you can get behind him, you can shred him. But, and as you guys could see, look at how close we got to him before he even, I mean, we were able to shoot him before he even noticed us. This body's still alive. We're going to shut him up. But again, there's that goofy bug that I, I've been talking about in this layer. Now, there's still more. How long is this cave? Ooh, more big boys. And a mouse or a rat. Have a present. That didn't do too much. Have a present. I hate you guys. Die. Boom. Oh, that's lovely. No better feeling than blowing up a stalker. Oh, man. Look at that XP. Oh, there's three of them. Come on. One grenade, all three. I think so. Oh, shit. Nope. I was going to try to catch him in the air. I thought for sure he was, he was coming up. But the rock blocked his ass. Ooh, sweet. Big pile up. Oh, yeah. Come on. Give it to me. Oh, man. 47,000. Yeah. Give it to me. There's only a couple of them, but I love the grenades. Oh, 30,000 more XP. Holy crap. And there's more. I've never been to the bottom of this cave, so. Oh, yeah. This is an issue. They just keep coming. Holy crap. Look at them all. Shit. We got a problem. That's the poison gas effect, by the way. Lovely stuff. Takes a few seconds. And if that ever happens, just run. I mean, you can stop and shoot, but... Oh, shit. I'm almost out of ammo. I didn't bring enough down here. Well, I guess I'll have to switch to the big boy gun. Yeah, by the way, don't come down here until you're ready to come down here, at least all the way, because, yeah, as you guys can see, we're not fully armored, we don't have the best weapons, and, well, yeah, it's interesting, but why not, right? What's the worst that happens? Give him a little cheeky peek like that. Give me some ammo. That's right. Okay, we gotta be about at the bottom of this cave, and we've gotta almost have it cleared out here. I mean, this is nuts. Take a couple steps back. Oh, there's two of them. Don't get hit. There's the lag. Did you guys see that? That's what I mean with these guys. It's... Ooh. Man, these guys are spongy. 
I apologize this episode is going really long again. Uh, but, yeah, this is fun. Give him a little bit of a... A little bit of space there. Now, we could go... Up close and personal and use our pinion mace. But, yeah, that's not going to happen. These guys are... Level 42. Oh, yeah. Even though they're not a damage dealer, they're just a, a tank. They would... Yeah, they would... Oh shit, there's another one of them freaking things. Shit, there's more brutes. Oh, and he got my gun. Hate when they steal my weapons. But this is the bottom of the cave, by the way. Those of you who don't know, I'm okay. Maybe not. Yeah, this has got to be where you seal it up. More brutes, and yeah, that's the end there. So we'll be back. We got more to. Well, you know what? We got grenades. Let's say hello. Say hello twice. And three times a charm. Nope. Oh, I think that actually killed one of them. And we leveled up again. So, holy crap, the XP down here, guys. Holy crap. Now, we're a little bit hurting on ammo. But, oh, our mining helmet went out. I was wondering why it got so dark. I apologize, guys. Uh, it's going to be a bit dark for the rest of the video. I'm trying to hurry this up. Clear this the rest of the way out so you guys can see it all. And at the same time, I'm trying not to die. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't need the springs. All right, let's take a look down here quick. This is all aluminum. So, yeah, hell of a lot of resources to mine. If you guys can see this, I apologize again. It's dark. I didn't think my mining helmet would run out that quick. And I honestly didn't realize there were that many zombies down here because, holy crap, this has been nuts. And we're still not done. There's at least one more right there let's give him a little bit of m1a action i think he's the last one though so freaking sponges man Okay, shot in the back. Yeah. Like I said, shot in the back is the way to go. So now I'll show you where this goes, which you guys can probably guess. But I'll show you anyway. This is where we farmed our aluminum. So let me get back up top here, guys. I want to show you guys one more thing quick before we go. Again, sorry the episode's so long. I didn't think it would take that long to clear this place out, but holy shit. And yeah, we used all our grenades. We leveled up twice. I mean, holy cow. Like I said, layers are definitely the way to get XP. Grenades, definitely the way to go. So anyway, let's take a look at everything we've gotten today. Level this up. So as you can see, we got a ton of aluminum, a little bit of metal in here. Take this back from him. In this guy, we have quite a bit of resin and quite a bit of aluminum here as well. 
Grab my helmet. Come around here. And this guy is all resin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I apologize again. It went so long. I really didn't expect it to take that long, to be honest. So I hope I didn't offend anybody by making the episode this long. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed the episode, let me know in the comment section down below. Smash that like button up for me. Let me know as well. Love to hear from you guys what you guys are thinking about this. Uh, and as always, if you guys are new to the channel, or even if you're not new to the channel, consider subscribing for more great content and triggering them notification bells so you guys know when I post my new videos. And as always, thank you guys so much for being here, and we will catch you in the next episode.